Are you filming? Crap! <laughs> hey guys, it's Britt. As you can see, I am in a new setting today. I am in my parents' kitchen. Their kitchen is a lot better than mine. So I'm going to be doing a cooking video in it today because, again, their kitchen is a lot better than mine. It's 4th of July weekend, hence why I am so patriotic. And 4th of July weekend makes me think of barbecues, makes me think of parties, makes me think of fun things where you might eat things like salsa. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade pico de gallo with homemade chips. Perfect to bring to any sort of holiday party or since by the time you're watching this, the holiday is going to be over, just summertime party. I think of salsa, I think of summer. So let's just jump right in. making the tortilla chips. For the chips, these are the ingredients that you'll need. Corn tortillas, I have about 10. Half of a lime, sea salt, and cooking spray. Start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. If you hear noise in the background, that is mine just heating up. And then split your tortillas into two piles to cut. You're going to cut them into triangles just like chips. So I start just by cutting in half and then I cut my half into thirds. This oven is already done preheating which literally blows my mind because mine takes three hours, and this took three minutes. But once you've cut your tortillas, you're going to lay them out evenly on a sheet pan or two. Trying not to overlap, but I honestly have a ton of tortillas, so mine are gonna overlap a little. Once your tortillas are all on your pan, you're going to lightly coat with cooking spray. After you've coated your chips with cooking spray, give them a sprinkling of sea salt. And then flip over and repeat. Once both sides of your chips are coated and salted, give one side a good squeeze of lime. If you can't tell, I'm trying to make these taste like Chipotle's chips because those are the best chips ever. So give a good, nice drizzle of lime. Yeah! While your tortillas cook, you can go ahead and start making your pico de gallo. For the pico de gallo, you are going to need a whole bunch of tomatoes, which I stole from my parents' garden. One jalapeno, or half, depending on how spicy you like things. Half of a red onion. Three cloves of garlic. Half of a lime. And cilantro, which I really don't like, but Ben does. And then some salt and pepper. Pico de gallo is very easy to make. It just requires a lot of chopping. And the exact amount of tomatoes is to be determined. We'll see, depending on how much I get out of these. You just wanna begin chopping, begin dicing everything up nice and small. I'm wishing that I brought my knife. To be honest, this one is not cutting it. It's not cutting it, get it, cut it, ah ha ha, a pun. I feel like these are gonna be too chunky for Benner, but you know what, huh, sorry. Uh-oh, tomatoes on the loose. Once you've done your tomatoes, just continue on chopping the rest of your ingredients. And try to not let the onion make you cry. God, these knives suck. Sorry, Mom, but your knives suck. Oh, 
Once all of your ingredients are chopped and added to the bowl, give a squeeze of that lime. And finish off with some salt and pepper. Give everything a good mix. Our chips are ready. Ooh. My chips wound up taking probably closer to 20 minutes because I liked them to have a little bit of brown to them. So look at that. Ooh, crunchy. Oh yeah. Action. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you decide to make this recipe, please share it with me on Instagram at BettyBug. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please be sure to subscribe. I post videos every week. And comment down below and tell me what your favorite summertime barbecue-esque food is. All right, see you guys next week. Bye. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make pico de gallo and distracted me. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple pico de gallo. Stop slurping, you can hear it. So let's just jump right in. Like this. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the space we have in our kitchen. I could do helicopter punching. <laughs> Today, we're gonna show you how to make a weenie roast. All you need is one. Whining one, weenie. One late aged wiener dog. One pitiful wiener dog. Some onions and some tomato. Mmm, delicious.